Okay, here's your long-awaited video that everybody's been wanting to see of the shot maker. Anyway, it's uh, been running here for oh, about 15 minutes. Got the new ladle going on here. 12 single hole drippers running wide open right now. You can see the stream out of the mid pot feeding the ladle. The mid pot has 5,500 watts of uh, heating band on it. The uh, upper pot, I didn't start it till a little later. Same thing, it's got 5,500 watts on it and it'll feed this mid pot here that's holding about 230 pounds of lead. The uh, coolant tank right there is a uh, funneled bottom. So the funnel bottom lets the coolant run out and it's just running into actually a drywall mud pan right now because I wanted to get everything else going before I worried about a conveyor system. And uh, once in a while you kind of shake it to even it out. Anyway, we've got the uh, digital control that I designed and wired here. Uh, it takes care of the uh, top pot, mid pot, and the ladle. Those are 612 type controllers. I'll give you a quick look at the inside. The inside of it is uh, run by SCR, solid state, uh, or I'm sorry, SSR, solid state relays, uh, which they uh, fire and uh, control the heating elements as the uh, temperature controller uh, warrants it to do. Again, you've got the mid pot feeding the, uh, the ladle. Uh, give you another top view of that. It's a bunch of lead in there. Now this one here, that big bar just happened to drop finally in that one. Uh, this particular pot here hasn't been going that long. Uh, each one of the pots has its own uh, adjusting uh, knob and valve on it. This one's offset here to feed the mid pot. And I'll just scan down here a little bit so you can kind of see that right there is right here is where it flows into the mid pot and then that valve is centered to flow into the ladle down here and you can once again see the lead stream flowing down 15 gallon uh, coolant supply in the bottom tank is what it has to uh, deliver the uh, coolant to the upper tank that is a flood over a spillover system the way that I designed that is it spills over the legs here in the corners and in the back and flows back down the inside of the legs into the tank. That's just your clear water pump from uh, Harbor Freight that I use for uh, circulating the water and it has to run just about wide open for a uh, 7 16 hole in the bottom of the, uh, of the unit. I guess the, uh, the one drawback to the uh, the system with the, uh, the adjusting valves on them is you have to wear a gloved hand to uh, adjust this valve to change the flow down here on the bottom, which it flows just fine. It doesn't take a whole lot to keep it happy and keep it running. Once again, it just sits there and it just purrs away. Right now, it's taking very little uh, input from me in any way to keep the, uh, the drippers happy. I found that the uh, Easy Slide product, which is a spray on graphite, really works well on the, uh, on the ramp, uh, keeps everything flowing fine. In fact, I spray the backside of my drippers and that with it, uh, so then when you want to change your drippers, you'll be able to reach in there with a wrench and you can just flake any lead or lead residue uh, off of those drippers and uh, get your your drippers right out of there with very little damage if you'd happen to need to re-drill them or something if they really get kind of crudded up. Um, other than that, I think that's about all there is to really uh, you know, say about it right now. I can come over here. We've got, um, this is uh, a small quantity of the prepared uh, lead that I did tumble in the uh, mixer and uh, it is graphited. Here's some product as it's run. That's uh, straight off the machine right there. I think we're probably, yep, we're go back to underneath and there it's piling up underneath and we gotta 
shake it down. I'll, uh, I'll see if I can put another pan in here and move it over so you can see just in the short time we've been talking what we've yielded there. We've got a little bit of splatter going on, but anyway, it's uh, kind of heavy to lift here with, with one hand. But there we've got a nice, right about 25 pounds of uh, nice shot made there. Comes out looking pretty darn good. Uh, so far I'm very pleased with what's going on. We run about 300 and I think 60 or 390 pounds. Yesterday on the first run when we got the ladle uh, acting correctly and uh, couldn't be a bit more pleased. It's, uh, it's finally starting to come together. I've been working on this for uh, actually quite a while. Uh, designed everything kind of in my spare time and had the dream about uh, controlling everything with temperature controllers because I felt that was the flaw in everybody else's system. Um, I'm going to release some of the lead. We're up to the uh, thermo or uh, the thermocouples think it's only about 320 degrees in this pot but obviously the lead has melted in that pot and we'll see if we can let some go to feed, yeah, there we go. Now we're feeding uh, lead into the, the mid pot. And this was my whole idea is to introduce the lead into the top pot so there could be a temperature change in it that would not be bothering the rest of the system. The mid pot would maintain the temperature at say 650 degrees. Uh, it would not have a big job to do other than to maintain that temperature. Then to put the feedstock into the ladle which the ladle of course also has uh, its own um, heating elements which it's the three of them they're 10 inch long 3 8 diameter uh, thousand watt a piece heaters so there's 3,000 watts of heat on the ladle itself and that's what keeps that ladle running beautifully uh, like I say I'm sure I'll have more developments that'll take place on this one is going to be a conveyor system to convey actually the shot out of the uh, bottom of the machine and the other one is to introduce a uh, chiller onto the uh, onto the water so I can maintain a temperature say something in the neighborhood of probably 120 degrees uh, it seems to be a little happier when the water is warmer the coolant for instance in this machine is our machine coolant that we use on um, on our machines such as that Fidal 4020 over there uh, it's a product made by Fuchs. It's called S741. Um, be pretty economical. The material's uh, quite expensive, a barrel, but yet it's only 5% uh, mix. And we mix it in uh, soft water is what we use here in our shop. Anyway, uh, that I think is going to conclude the video for right now. And uh, when we get something else changed, uh, we'll shoot another video. So anyway, I hope everyone enjoyed it. And uh, looking forward to continue working on this. And... Uh, Hope this helps my fellow shooters out and fellow guys that want to make shots.